guys. Today I'm going to do a quick little video to tell you how to fill out your first information about brokerage services or IABS. Okay, so to start off with, we have a sample available on the dashboard that you can use as a guide. So you just go to the Learn tab and then Learning Resources and then Sample Contracts and then Sample IABS. Okay, and so this will give you all the information that you need to fill out your information about broker services. Obviously, you can't use this one as it's already filled out with ready agent name goes here and that's where you'll eventually put your name, license number, email, etc. So, in order to fill out your own, we're going to have to go to zip forms. And if you don't know how to use zip forms, there's also training available in the same spot, zip forms plus training. And as a new agent, you definitely should take some time and do some of your homework and learn how to use the zip forms. But uh, I'll just go over how to fill out the information about brokerage services very quickly. So to log on to zip forms, you go to www.texasrealestate.com. This is the website for the Texas Association of Realtors. And zip forms is a benefit that is included when you pay all those dues um, to the Board of Realtors. So zip forms is what you get when you pay your dues. Uh, and you'll just log on. And the first time you'll have to create an account. Um, mine's already created, so I'll go ahead and just log on. You'll see it'll come up with a dashboard. And if you're new and you just want to jump right into your forms, you can click on View Forms and uh, the little form library will come up, okay? And some agents sometimes wonder where to find uh, the, the forms. This is it. And make sure um, that you're on the right library. I prefer Texas Association of Realtors, TAR Res Residential uh, Library. Um, you can use others, but this one will have all of the forms um, that you need for everything. So I use that one. Okay, so to get to the IABS, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a template. Okay, and that way you can fill out all of the information on this form once, and then once you save it as a template, you can add it to your transactions um, as you go, and all of the information will already be on there. Okay, so we're going to create a new template, and you have to select what type it is and usually when you're new it's going to be a purchase offer but you can go ahead and save it as something else i'm going to just enter this template name as iabs okay and you have to save it as a property type and you can also have it automatically apply to any new transaction that you create you can have it automatically apply to just uh, purchase transactions or you can tell it not to automatically apply and then whenever you create a transaction, you can select it from within that transaction. So for now, I'm not going to have it apply. We're just going to save it as IABS. Okay, so there it is. Uh, we've got a template. We've got to add our document. So we'll add document. We're going to add a form and we'll be taken back to that form library. So we've got Texas Association of Realtors. I'm in the correct library. And um, you can do a search this way, um, you know, buyer tenant rep agreements, uh, notices. Um, this one is actually a notice of information about broker services. Um, if you know the uh, name of the form, you can just type it in like this. So you can eventually use this as a shortcut. And there it is. So we'll use this. And then the form will come up, form successfully added. And now this is just a raw zip form. We need to go in and fill in all of the information. So let's go ahead and get that done. Let's open it. Okay, so now we're using zip forms. So once you have that all filled out, we're going to save this as a zip form, okay? And then you have your first template. Okay. 
Okay, so go back and we'll see, there he is. Uh, I'm also now going to open it and I'm going to save it as a PDF. You cannot send the raw zip form to your client. The software only um, will show up for you. So you've got to save it as a PDF for your clients to see. So I'm going to go ahead and save to my device because I want to save it to my computer. And you click download. And here it is. And now this is a PDF that I can send um, to my clients and I can um, uh, save it to my computer, which I will do. And let's see, I will save it to a, a Dropbox, which I'll, I'll use because I like to um, save those links and then I can include it in my email. So that'll be a separate little video where I'll show you how you can add it to your email signature and how you can add it to Facebook as well. So uh, we'll just put it in uh, Andrea's personal and we'll call it Andrea's IABS. And that's saved. And now that's saved in my computer. And I again, I can email it to my clients and do what I need to do. Um, this does not cover getting the little signatures. That you won't need to do until you actually have a transaction that's getting ready um, uh, to close. But to just be able to start off your career and hand out the information about brokerage services, this should get you up and running.